See, I had a, a cousin, and everywhere we went together, everybody thought we were brothers. We looked just exactly alike. My middle name, his middle name is the same. He's just a couple years older than me. And I loved him. Loved him. And he's a really great guy. A hoot to be around. I know that Nada probably, she'll translate hoot just fine. It was a blast to be around him. But alcohol ruled the day in his family, his side, as well as mine. And it was just a common everyday thing. Very often you go to the refrigerator and for sure you'll see at least a six pack of beer there even if there wasn't a gallon of milk. If nothing else, there's going to be that there. It's going to rule. But one day, and, and, and he, had, he struggled with alcohol and, and, and multiple marriages and, and, and problems with alcoholism for years. But one day, he received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And man, was his testimony powerful. He went to different churches telling people about Christ. And, and some of us were astonished at the grace of God. But it wasn't long after he got saved that he met a Christian. And this Christian told him, where does it say it's a sin? To drink. It's okay if you drink a beer. It's alright. And the Christian turned up a beer. It's okay. He used his Christian liberty. And so my cousin thought, well, now I have Christ. I can handle that. And I can go show other people that that part of their life really doesn't have to change a whole lot. I, he started going into bars witnessing to people while he had a beer with them. Well, one thing led to another, and one beer led to two, and two led to three, and you know how that goes. And he slipped right back into the alcoholism. One night, in a drunken stupor, somebody bumped him the wrong way. And as most of my family did when they were drunk, if somebody bumped or looked the wrong way, there was going to be a fight. And this young man stomped my cousin's head in. Put him in the hospital. He became a paralytic. Brain dead. Almost brain dead. Half. Unable to speak. Unable to function. Put into a nursing home. And a few years later, he died. Now, I want to ask you something. When that Christian showed him his Christian liberty and said, it's okay to be a Christian and drink that too. How does that edify the body of Christ? And let me ask you something. How in the world does that glorify God? It doesn't. It would have been better if he would have used his Christian liberty at his house and said, I can live without it right now. Do you see that? This stuff looks little, but it has big impacts on our everyday life.